Hey everyone and welcome to Sailing Mist. Mist is a 1975 Nicholson 33 three quarter tunnel design. She was gifted to me early in 2021 and she's now out having a little refit before the season. This year we'll see Mist having some family cruising, some racing, both double handed and solo, but most of all having fun on the water. Ugh. Rule number one of working on a boat in the UK in the winter. Get yourself a coffee. Cheers. I really don't think that the uh, camera's doing the weather here any justice whatsoever. Today is minging. Okay, let's go and introduce you to Mist. We've got a bit of water down here. Let's get rid of this stuff. Yeah. So I'm not sure if you can see all that water that I've just been uh, tapping around with my foot. We do have a bit of an issue. Uh, pretty convinced that it's uh, all stemming from this puppy here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I think We've got some water running through the mask coat seal and I also think there's a bigger problem going on and I'm not sure quite what is going on. I've probably just taken a very good picture of the back of my phone. Pretty sure the water's supposed to be on the outside of the boat. So behind me we have the engine mount replacement situation. Uh, front two done. Um, Simon is busily busying away with the aft two, which are becoming a little bit problematic and a small space to work in. Um, I am leaving this to him because he knows what he's doing. And uh, if you can't do a job, get someone else to do it, right? This is the beastie. Uh, so here we have old engine mounts. Uh, if you need your beta bits and bobs done, spares, uh, really good service. We've got these from Scott TS Marine. So, and here is the engine. Front two mounts replaced, or at least in situ. Well done, Simon. Looks like I've got some work to do in here. We've got a sloppy as hell alternator belt on there. We've got a lot of wear in there and it looks like I've got some painting to do as well. And there's the other two mounts back there. Look, they a little bit of a problem area. And the other one is just down there. Yep. There she blows, engine mount number four, and they are being a little bit of a bastard to get out. This definitely needs some love, doesn't it? Definitely needs some love. So the final task in uh, project engine is to get this flappy, spinny bronze thing that's being polished up here into this spinny, proppy, holdy thing coming out the bottom of the boat here 
and into this red noisy thing here. So, job finished. Prop, prop shaft, through cutlass bearing, new cutlass bearing, in, seated, and uh, all set, ready for the next season. Wow. <laughs> Am I not getting 12 bales of crap out the front of my keel? Good question, huh? I don't know. No, I do know, I do know. Um, when we first got her, there was definitely something going on. Um, a little bit of flex in the hull, maybe. Keel bolts not done up properly, don't know. But when we picked her up and lifted her in February, March last year, We've done a nice keel fairing job when she got lifted in the slings. Then uh, the first thing we heard was crack. And that was our lovely fairing job um, coming apart at the seams. Um, so now we're going to have a proper look at this. She's safe. I'm sure she's safe. We're going to get a keel inspection done for sure. Um, whether that's cruising, whether we're racing, whatever. She's out on the water. She's got to be safe. Um, so we're just going to peel back a load of this now and see what the hell is going on um, and uh, see if we can get someone down to look at it that knows what on earth they're doing. Another job for this, uh, for this refit is that last year we had a lot of play in the rudder, especially as we're going upwind, wobbling around all over the place, driving her downwind. She's actually quite a nightmare on the helm anyway, um, so you don't notice it, but driving her upwind there's a lot of slop in the rudder, so we're going to have a look at replacing the bearings. Um, we've already got the rudder off, which is quite epic. We tried digging a hole in the ground to be able to drop the rudder out, but we had to get the boat lifted, and I'm quite glad we stopped uh, trying to dig because we had to lift the boat a meter up in the air. Uh, uh, we had to lift the boat a meter up in the air to get her out. Uh, so the rudder's down here on the floor. There's the rudder, and now we're going to have to attack the rudder bearing. I don't know if you can see that to get her out, but they are wedged firmly, so we're gonna have to cut them out. So here we go, cutting out of the rudder bearing, take one. It's actually fairly easy to cut. Imagine this is Delrin, which is what I want to replace them with anyway. And the good thing with Delrin is, it doesn't absorb any water. If you're going to use a nylon, where I know some people have done it, uh, much to their dismay after the boat's gone in the water. Nylon's easy to work with, but after it's gone in, it swells up and uh, makes helming quite hard. Okay, now I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Harry's done all this work. <laughs> I'd like to uh, skip his job, show what happens, and then the crew does it, right? So Harry has finished off cutting and fair play Harry. Whoop! Huzzah! Uh, so, all we've done here really is just broken through, taking care not to cut through into the shaft, which goes all the way to the top of the boat, to the top bearing, which would not be good. And uh, cut it, and that's given it enough flex. <laughs> Loads to do, and uh, back to it. Toodaloo. Hope you've enjoyed watching us this time. Uh, join us next time for more trials and tribulations of getting mist ready for the water for the 2023 season. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, the bell. Keep watching and click the notification. Bye, Eddie. <laughs> Bye, guys.